Hello everyone, this is G2, and uh, welcome back to Prey. This should be the probably the final part. It's going to be longer than usual because I'm going to include uh, as many endings as I could find in here. Uh, I will try to get all of them, but if I miss one by accident, then um, I'm going to be sorry about that. And I'll try to include it in a separate video. Okay, so... Morgan. What we're going to do you here is the kind of appeal Alex would make. go up to the, um, the history. Oh yeah. You just really quickly go to the um, power, lobby to fabricate my arming key and then go down to the power station and lunch. Ergo, blow up the Alex station. Wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? Mm -hmm. But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work. Oh, that and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Eagle, uh, try to run away. The alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk. But we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this. To murder a species. And the research. Hello, are you here for an appointment? It's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let any, these things get any, back to Earth. Even if one of them find a robot to kill me first. Hello. Morgan, Good to please. see you again, Dr. Yu. Destroying this station should be the last no option. Injury. Not Nothing the first. Medical yes. There we go. Good is it? And up to the... Up to the... Yeah, up to my fabricator and recycler. A deluxe cabin. Oh, Alex must have liked you. Okay. I don't know what that was, but I'll... Doctor you did. My quarters were right next to Dr. Calvino. Oh, I take it back. Maybe Alex did not like you. I hardly think slandering one of the doctors is productive at this time. Calvino is dead, okay. and he was a skilled doctor. He deserves our respect. That's irony coming from you, after all the respect you showed Morgan in a sim lab. Dr. Yu, both of them, okay. approved the experiment. Really? What about the third Doctor You? The one okay. with us now? Not sure our Army Morgan key. approves. That's interesting looking. I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans. But I did have a... And the Army... Let's quickly try to... Maybe see what that is called real quickly. Tendril, okay. That does not sound like fun. Is that transcript? Can someone please explain to me why there's a delay with my parcel? Oh, it's that. No, I don't wanna. Can someone please explain to me why there's a delay with my parcel? So to the power plant to blow up the station. Is that? Can someone ah. please explain to me Fell for the trick again. If the idea hasn't occurred okay. to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Hello. Good Don't do it. You again, I can't you. predict what would happen if you scan the apex. But all my models point to suffering. Hmm. That sounds like that's gonna be interesting. Let's that creature is still trying to consume the station. And this is I picked up multiple hull breaches. I believe in you, Mark. Make this count. Okay, we're gonna. Go clickety clack. And boom, go station. Operator deployment resuming. Okay, open. Explosive gas detected. Please warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames. Hello, nice to see you. 
down the reactor. And we're just gonna go ahead and save time, just do some jumping. Okay. Insert key. Insert key. Oh, activate key. Activate. That was quick. You better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. Hurry. Oh, come on. Good work. The reactor's primed and capable of delivering close to 30 megatons. More than enough. I'll meet you on the bridge for the last part. Hurry, Morgan. There won't be anything left to detonate if we're too late. Okay. Looks like a uh, uh, Typhon's trying to get me now to blow up the station. It'd be funny if this was actually the bad ending. <coughs> We'd be kind of pulling the wool over ours. Okay. Hello. Good to see you again, Doctor. You. Dangerous level warning. Hello. Dangerous Are level you here of for an explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. There we go. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas. Well, I, I liked how um, I like how the um, station is progressively getting worse throughout the game. You know, at the beginning it was all pretty nice, and then as it goes on, it gets worse and worse and worse. More of that coral appears. That did not look like that. Okay, to the operatum. There's a long elevator. Attention, station leadership has issued a to bridge. Microgravity detected. Morgan, I I had to restrain Ive several times by punching him. Who knows? I may have killed him. He tried to disable January. If you try to do the same, I can't let you do it. It is... This station is proof of what happens when Tronstar conducts operations unchecked. If the research survives, then the crimes here will continue and these aliens, if even one survives, they'll escape again and again. Alex made his choice. Now, it is up to you to make the right one. If you want to trigger the null wave, you'll have to come through me. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. To the bridge. Oh, over there. Thank you. 
I don't look good at all. Looks like it's up to the captain's quarters, I think. Who? What? Morgan. Morgan? Maybe. I, I see a person who looks like Morgan, you. Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, operator? You've let this machine poison you. I wish you understood. I've bent the course of this entire station around what you wanted. I let you persuade me. And now you're gonna throw it all away? Just stop and think for one goddamn second, Morgan. The safety is off on his firearm. I think you've said enough. Why? Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Okay. So here, hopefully I'm just gonna really quickly save the game because I have a interesting um, idea how to uh, escape. I'm gonna just freeze him. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. There we go. Is that gonna... I keep having this dream. I guess sitting in that chair was like an instant thing. Hmm. Well, I guess that's the um <coughs> excuse me. I guess that that's the end of the um, prey if you do the self destruct thing. What is it called? Um I'll be after the uh, credits roll, I'll be putting up the rest of the uh, endings if I can find them. Which I, I know a few of them, so there's that. So I'll um, let this play through and then get to the ending and go back and do the other ones. Okay, this, But if you want to stop here, then this has been G2O. And if you feel like it, please feel free to like, comments, couple words. Uh, if, this has been G2O. If you feel like it, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Oh, dang. I guess this is the, um, in this background, it's um, when the Titans first appeared. I don't know the weavers could do that. Oh, there's a nightmare. Gonna have to get rid of this audio because the thing will gouge me on copyright.
did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later, it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us. Michaela. This is I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah? You're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dor's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Daniel, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to. But it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos 1. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. Oh, dang. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up. Like old times. That was... different. Well, I'll call the recording here for a moment. And then I'll get back to the next ones. Uh, see you in a bit. Okay, we are now going to do the next part of the game, which is probably, I think it's that one. Um, okay. Okay, let's uh, hit that one, which is uh, we will be setting the self-destruct sequence and then escaping. I think, hopefully this is the right one, yeah, okay, which is, the way we're going to escape is there's actually a hidden, um, is it turned on? Yeah, this is turned on, okay. For a second there, I thought I didn't have any, uh, any sound, but yeah, we're just gonna be escaping. There's an escape pod in the Arboretum. Microgravity detected. Deadly 
from imminent. Please evacuate. Initialize on. Ooh. Forgot I have to press the button. Now we can initialize launch. If we can, okay, is that past four now? Yeah. Okay, so we already went through the that in the earlier part, so we'll see this. Let's see how this changes this last part here. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use. Except that, they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. I figured that would have made it different. You can hear statements. us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. That was rather different. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. Okay, we're gonna vary it up by do the killing them all option. I don't... I don't do this. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, we'll get back to the next part here in a second. Okay, for this part we'll be going to, um, what's it called? Let me just hit that there. We'll be going and, um, fabricating the, um, uh, Neurowave device and using it. Anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You program me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The known way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research lost. It's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earth's side. Morgan, please. Destroying the station okay. should be the last option, not the first. Morgan, hooked up some more supply. Part of the problem is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Placing the null wave device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Use your cytoscope to locate the exact spot. Okay, looks like we're heading to psychotronics now. This should definitely be interesting. Hazardous atmosphere condition. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. <laughs> Dang it. Well, that was stupid of me. I should have definitely healed. Hazardous Let's go ahead and heal them. And please get it. Do I have any suit parts? No, I don't. Idea hasn't occurred to you. I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. Okay. Time to get a look at the coral. Here we go. Wait for me, pull 
chest. I just gotta run past. Then head up to the atrium, go to the bridge, and initiate the no wave. Wouldn't be surprised if also one of the endings was scanning the apex. Since he advised not to. It also might be uh, better to revise that. Um, it probably won't be all the endings, just because it's seeming like, I figured to be like, maybe four or five, but it, it seems like there's probably going to be a lot more to that, though. It'll be a lot harder to do. So, I'll get as many as I probably can for the repeat. Oh, no. Almost smacked a tendril. What the hell have you done? Morgan, your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish. You made the right choice. The terminal's linked up again. It should only take a few seconds for a signal to propagate through the coral and lobotomize every Typhon on Talos 1, including the big one outside. The rest of us should get away with a mild headache. I'll let you do the honors, but you better hurry. Okay, let's see what it does. What is a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. And more importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. That was really interesting. Now let's see what the ending part is. It's finished. 
How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dor's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, he chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. It look, looks like only the talking is the only variation, for the most part. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the wall today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up. Like old times. Okay, so then uh, I'll be getting to the next part here in a second. Okay, last last one for the books. If this is the right load, which I'm pretty sure it is because the last one I did, uh, basically we have set the destruction of Talos 1, and now we're going to be getting out through the shuttle bay because we incapacitated Dahl and got him on our, our side rather than killing him like in the earlier part. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Okay, so... We did that. Now we're gonna... Head to the shuttle bay. But so far, not, there's not really that much of a difference in um, in the way that it um, ends, besides just a little bit of a talking dialogue at the end. It's not really too significant. Warning. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1.
That did not look good. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate okay, we're almost there. One. Detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talon. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre flight check is who gives a shit. Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride. See how it changes here. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Lightner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Dallas Y. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records, and then... I did not expect this, but it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him, but... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. Oh. 
What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... is the wall of today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. Okay, well that was, um, that was the end of the, of that one, and I think that's about all I, I can find, and, uh, more importantly, probably gonna do. So, um, if you liked it, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.